So hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to record video and capture image in any Android application. So recording the video and capturing the image is the real Android application usage. For example, in WhatsApp and Facebook and Snapchat like applications, we record some video, capture some image and share it with our friends and colleagues. We can also post the recorded video in the same social media application. So in this video, we will also record a video, capture an image and we will learn how to get the and the path and the location where the image is stored and captured. So guys, if you are new to our channel, then it is a request to please subscribe to our channel. We have been bringing a lot of free courses, material and courses for you. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. So guys, our session consists of following simple steps. So in the first step, we will make simple UI. So let's launch the Android Studio and from here create a new project. Select the empty activity and click next. And from here, give the name of application as recording video image app. We are okay with the package name, location and language and click finish button. Let's wait a while until Android Studio is ready for the development. So guys, our Android Studio is ready. Now let's come to the first step, make simple UI. For the demo purpose, we will make a simple button here, which will record our video. Let me hide some windows to see the things clearly. And from here, delete the text view. Click and drag the image in the center of the screen. Give appropriate constraints. So now let's come to the code of image view. The text will be record video. Now let's come to the java main activity file and from here let's make button pressed event we are receiving some error click on the view press alt plus enter so our error is gone now let's add this button click event to our button So okay guys, our interface is completed and we have successfully allocated button pressed event to our button. Now let's come toward the second step that is checking for working camera presence. So here with the help of code we will check if there is any working camera present in our application. So here we will make a simple function here. So guys here we have checked if there is any camera present in the mobile phone. If the camera is detected we are returning true. If no camera is detected we are returning false. So for confirmation we will print a log here. So okay guys, our second step is completed. We have successfully checked whether the camera is detected or not. Now let's come towards the third step that is give camera an external storage permission. So for this we will have to add the permission in manifest file. So for the storage we will give the permission write external storage. And for the camera we will give the permission camera 
so in the same way we will have to write the code here let's make a function So guys, here we have to give the code for the camera permission. Let's write that code. So this code will be 100 and we have to provide this code for this parameter. So guys as you can see here we have first check if the permission is not granted or denied we will request the permission for the camera to use in this application. Let's remove this else condition. So now let's come toward the next step that is launch video record intent. For this we will have to make the code for recording the video. So this code is 101 now make function here so here we have initialized an intent with the action video capture and we have start the activity for result by giving the video record code here let's use these functions so for this when we have detected that there is a camera present here we will get the camera permission else we will ignore everything and in the record button press event we will record the video so now let's come towards the final step that is receiving a recording status and video path for this we will override a callback method here this callback is on activity result and before that we will check if we are receiving the request code of video url So for getting the video path, the video path we will have to initialize a URI here. So this was the case for the result ok. So if now let's write the code for other cases. If the recording video is cancelled by the user, so we will print a log here. Recorded video is cancelled. For else, we will notify the user for some error. So okay guys as you can see here on activity result callback we have checked if the request code is for recording video further we checked if the result is okay we have get the path of the recorded video we will we can store this path in our appropriate database and can play the video 
from that path as well. Then we have handled the result cancelled and other error scenarios here. Now it's time to test our application. So for testing, we will have to connect our real Android device. Let me connect my real Android device. So guys, I have connected my real Android device with the Android Studio. Let me build and compile and flash this application into our real Android device. First of all, testing the application, we will print a log here. Let me launch the logcat and filter my log. So the first condition is that camera is detected in my phone and upon detecting the camera, I am getting the permission. So I have allow the permission. Now let me record the video. So it has launch the intent for recording the video. So let me record some video for demo purpose. As you can see here, I am I have written this code. And this is my setup. Quite dark. Okay, so now we have two options. We can cancel it or we can save it. So when I'm going to save it, I have get the log that video is recorded and available at path. So this is the path of my video. So my video will be available at that path where you can store it and you can play the video from that path as well. So guys, up till now we have learned how to record the video in the Android application. So now let's learn how to capture an image as well. So for capturing the image, we will have to write the code for uh, capturing the image. And its code is 102. So in the same way, we will have to write it on multiple location. So this record video will be capture image. And we will write the intent for image capture. So here our intent is modified to action image capture and start activity for result is image capture code. And in the same way, we will have to filter the result for image capture code. Now let's call this function here. So guys, this is it. Now let's check the image capturing capability. For this, let me compile the application again. Let me launch the logcat as well. So camera is detected. Permission is already granted. So it will not ask again. Now let's record the video. It's capturing the image. We, you can change the text. So now you can see here our intent is now for image. So let me capture an image here. So guys, I am going to save it. So you can see here image capture and available at path null. So guys, hope you have enjoyed the video. So this is enough for this session. See you in next video. Please like, share our video, comment on our video and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye.